Here is a nice uh, picture of a small intestine that, uh, as you can see, is quite severely inflamed. And you know instantly this is small intestine because you can still appreciate some villi here. And uh, you can also see, even at this low power, that not only do the villi get distorted, but the whole mucosa gets uh, basically ulcerated and is replaced by inflammatory cells throughout all three layers of the small bowel. The mucosa, this submucosa, all throughout the muscular layer and well out into the um, uh, adventitia over here as well. This is a primary inflammatory disease of the small bowel. Uh, very much so in the older days, people used to love to make uh, little differentiations between the two major types of primary inflammatory bowel disease. Crohn's disease was one, and ulcerative colitis was the other. And there were like a whole bunch of things that made us agonize as to whether this was Crohn's or ulcerative, Crohn's or ulcerative. So there are a few major things, both uh, grossly or clinically, that could help you differentiate the two. But now they are kind of lumped together in the uh, category of inflammatory bowel disease because they are often uh, treated the same way as well. So uh, not there, the pressure to uh, differentiate one from the other isn't that great anymore. So let me tell you the two or three biggest gross things and the two or three biggest microscopic things that could help you very, very easily differentiate Crohn's disease from ulcerative colitis. In Crohn's disease, the small bowel is involved at least as much and probably even more than the large bowel. In, uh, in ulcerative colitis, the large bowel is usually primarily involved. So that's the one big, big thing. Another big, big thing is that both diseases can have ulceration, but the inflammation is usually limited to uh, the mucosa in ulcerative colitis, whereas in Crohn's colitis, you have inflammation in the mucosa, the submucosa, the muscle, as well as in the serosa. So Crohn's colitis is a full thickness inflammation like we see here. And for that reason, the uh, bowel wall frequently is uh, very, very much uh, weakened and a lot of uh, fistulas uh, can uh, happen with this disease. Uh, I'll tell you a couple of microscopic things. If you see granulomas anywhere, it's probably Crohn's colitis. If you see a lot of crypt abscesses or a lot of these uh, colonic crypts of Lieberkund being filled with inflammatory cells, that would point more towards an ulcerative colitis. But nevertheless, I think you could already see this is Crohn's colitis. Number one, it's in the small bowel. Number two, it's full thickness. And number three, are you starting to imagine that maybe these could be little granulomas out here? Yes, they are. They are granulomas. So this is a classical uh, Crohn's disease or Crohn's colitis. And if I can find you uh, a nice little giant cell, perhaps like there, then you'll really be convinced. But even if you weren't, this is a classical granuloma. Epithelioid histiocytes on the inside, a little cuff of... Uh, inflammatory lymphocytes on the outside, and even some fibroblasts kind of delineating the whole thing. Classical Crohn's colitis or Crohn's disease. And another name for this, as you might guess, is granulomatous colitis. Thank you very much.